I know people really like this whole unboxing and product review thing and there aren't too many out there for this new toy I got in the mail today. So we're going to do an unboxing and a little demo to s and give you my initial thoughts. What I've got is the new Warhammer 2 uh, bearing bar from Battle Bold. So just ordered it Monday morning and got it in. Today is Thursday. So awesome shipping. Um, and here it is. So I don't have any of those cool technology things of like playing music. I don't know how to do all that crap. So fast forwarding, we cut this thing open, play some cool music. Music. That was Beer Can by Luke Combs. Luke, don't hate me for fast forwarding it, trying to speed up the video, and it sounded kind of funny. Still awesome, man. So, here is your initial look at the Warhammer 2 Battle Bold 20 kilo bearing bar. So, you got zinc or black, whatever the hell this stuff is. I'm not a specialist in this stuff. So, black coating on the outside, little rubber Battle Bold logo. It looks pretty cool in the collar sleeve um initial impression with the knurling it is is not super sharp if you're looking for a super sharp knurling i know there's obviously a little residue on there that i'll need to get wiped off um but it doesn't feel anything super sharp uh and i'm going to give you a little bit of a comparison with my pin lay bar but this has uh dual knurling or yeah dual lines on it uh Spins pretty good for being a bearing bar right out of the box, man, as it should. I'm gonna go ahead and put some plates on and see how this thing looks. Right, so I loaded it up with a pin lay plate. Now I did notice that first time ever putting a plate on, it's pretty stiff. Sliding those plates on and off, hopefully it'll wear in. It's really, it's a little tight. So hopefully that'll loosen up and wear in. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a quick spin test and I'm gonna try to spin it the same and we'll see how it goes. So this is with my Pinlay needle bearing bar, women's bar, because um, that's the one I want to compare another needle bar to the Battle Bolt bar. This one has not been used much. It's pretty close to dang near new. So it should be pretty close in terms of needle, how the needle goes. So let's see how it goes. So, after editing this video and sitting here realizing that it was stupid to watch a plate spin on a bar for forever on end, um, I realized a couple things. One, you couldn't see the end of the Battle Bowl bar, so go figure. I'm going to probably get hash back on that. Um, that was the first one. The second thing was you couldn't even see the time. So uh, it was, they both actually spun almost identical amounts of time. I tried to keep it consistent with how much effort I was putting in the spin, but both bars spun easily over a minute, minute and a half without that much effort uh on pushing on the plate so the battle bold bar spun great right out of the box compared to what has been a really good standard in in bearing bars being the pin lay bar uh needle bearing bar the battle bold held up great on very first initial impressions i'm really excited to try it out so here it is side by side with my older men's bushing pin lay bar uh and just up front side by side I do think that the knurling is a little bit sharper on the pin lay than it is on the battle bold. Uh, mine's definitely worn out a little bit. Um, I, it's hard to tell with the whatever coating or oil or grease comes on the bar that I'll have to take off and then see how it is. But I don't mind that. Um, yeah, awesome first impression. I'm excited to live with this bar. Thank you to the deans at Battle Bold for hooking me up and for Spencer Tyler uh, for his discount code. So if you guys want a, t a discount, at uh, battlebold.com, use the promo code Spencer from Spencer Tyler. Thanks.